Hi everybody, my name is Victoria Zuniga. I'm the lab assistant here in the Surgical Technologist Program here at Alto Malt Healthcare. I work alongside healthcare professionals and today I'm going to perform a surgical hand scrub. I'm going to show you the steps and what is necessary to perform a surgical hand scrub. Thank you for watching and please follow along. Okay, moving forward. The first thing you want to do before performing a surgical hand scrub is to check if you have any rings or watches on. I don't at the moment, but if I did, I would definitely take those off. Also, you want to have a hairnet covering any hair that is hanging to the sides. You want to make sure that's all inside of the hairnet. Face mask, eye shield, and booties for your feet. Shoe covers, if you will. Okay, now we're going to step to the sink. So when I step to the sink, I want to make sure that the water temperature is to my liking. I want it to be comfortable. I don't want it to be too hot, extremely hot. I just want it to be comfortable on my skin. So I like it warm, feels pretty good to me. Okay. Now I'm gonna choose my sponge brush. Before I open it, I'm gonna make sure that there's no holes or rips. Mine is fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Now you can set your sponge brush down, but only if it remains in the packet. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it down and grab my nail pick. Now with your nail pick, you wanna pick under each nail under running water. There's a cuticle side as well, and you can get all of these sides of your nails. Okay. I will dispose of my garbage correctly. And now I will grab my sponge brush. Okay, so I like to get my sponge brush, sponge brush very soapy. I like it to be foamy. It means that my, my scrub is gonna go proficient throughout. Now the first thing you're gonna do, your sponge brush has a bristle side and it has a sponge side. We like to only use the brush side on our nails. AORN states that it's totally acceptable and actually the brush being used on your skin promotes skin breakdown. So I will begin. Now for training purposes, I will only complete a scrub on one hand down. However, we like for you to mirror everything you do. So when I do my fingernails on one side, I'll be doing them on the other side. Fingers, fingers, palm, palm, arm, arm, ending on elbows two inches above. I will begin. So the whole time we wanna be in this stance. We wanna keep those hands above your elbows. Okay, so I'll be starting with my fingernails. I'm going to scrub them for about 30 seconds. Getting my underneath my nails, my nail beds. Okay, now once completed with my nails, I no longer need to use the brush. You can remove it. You don't have to. I like to keep it on for grip. It's totally up to you. Now when we move on to the second portion, which is our fingers, we have four planks. We have one, two, three, and four. I'm going to show you again. We have one, two, three, and four. Now on every plank that we have, we're going to get the brush and, and do 10 strokes. So four planks, 10 strokes, okay? I will begin. And as you see, I'm keeping my position. I'm not dropping those hands below my elbows. If I did that, that would I would break contamination, and that is definitely not good. Whenever. 
whenever you hit a spot or a plank, you never want to go back and, and hit the same plank again. Just move forward to the next section. fingernails. You might not be able to see, but I'm actually keeping the brush away from my fingernails and I'm slowly hitting the fingers. and the four planks. I will now be moving on to my palm. <clears throat> so when we get to the palm, we want to go into circular motion. I want to remind you not to hit the fingers again. We've already gone over that section, now we're moving on. So I'll be getting the palm, circular motion, and I would say about 30 seconds as well. Keeping those hands above the elbow. I cannot stress that enough. I will now be hitting the back of the hand. Okay, now once done with my hands, I'm moving on to my forearms. Now we like to train our students <clears throat> that we also have four planks on your arm. You have one, two, three, and four. Okay, I'm gonna show that once more. We have one, two, three, and four. Now we have four planks. On every plank, we want to work in circular motion as well. Circular motion prevents back and forth and bringing anything dirty to clean or <clears throat> hitting a spot that you've already gone. I'm going to start from the top. Once I start from the top and go down, I cannot go back up, okay? So keeping that in mind. Small circular motions. We don't want to go too large. We want to get every spot very good. Now I'm moving on to the second plank. You'll learn how to maneuver your hands in ways that will prevent contamination. Your hands, your arms. Okay. 
now, last but not least, we got this last plank on the side. So we've done our fingernails, we've done our fingers, we've done our palms, back of hand, our forearms. Now the last section we have is our elbow and two inches above, okay? And we also are keeping that four plank method. So I have one, I have two, I have three, and I have four, okay? Once more, I have one, two, three, and four, okay? I will continue. Same circular motion with the elbow. I particularly like to start on the elbow and get it really good. I would say about 30 seconds of scrubbing the elbow. Once I've completed that, I will go two inches above. Same plank. And then slowly moving into that plank two inches above. Moving on to the second. We like to stay over the sink because typically in most facilities, your scrub sink is in a busy area of the hospital and you have healthcare professions walking back and forth. So we wanna be generous and thoughtful of our coworkers. completed an entire arm. I'm now going to show you how to rinse sterile. So I like to tell our students that we rinse in an uppercut like motion. So I'm going to keep my hands above the elbows. Slowly but surely you continue through all the way up. Get the two inches above the elbow and come on up. Staying away from the sink, not touching anything at this point. I'll demonstrate on the other hand as well. Uppercut like motion, wiggling those hands, getting as much soap off, all the way up, all the way through, and out. We'll stand over the sink, letting the water drip off of the elbows. Okay, once completed, we'll step away and go into our OR. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate everyone here at Ultima Healthcare. If you guys have any further questions about our Surgical Technologist program or any of the other programs we offer, don't hesitate to ask. We'll put the information down in a link below. Thank you again, and I'm so excited. I hope to see many of your guys' faces. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Altamont Healthcare on YouTube today.